Hi everyone, what's up? Well, I just came back from an awesome day of teaching. But, it's a good thing that I didn't mate uh, Paul's male with my mature female. Well, this video is definitely going to be called... Grandma Solo Rosea Molt. I totally did not expect her to molt, and she's actually molting as we speak. So, she made her web bed, you can see just right under her. And she's lying on her back, and you can definitely see her pulsating. Uh, which is normal. I just came back from school and I just noticed this. So I'm going to document how long this uh, molt takes place. Uh, right now it's 5 o'clock p.m. And I'll try to give you updates on it. Mature male's there. He did his sperm web, so I know he's good. Okay, 7 o'clock now, two hours later. Just came back from work. Alright, so now... She's molting. Most likely around three quarters done. I don't want to disturb her. Because it's a big no-no with, with teas, especially when they molt. Molting is a vulnerable cycle. And it's one of the hardest uh, times that the AAT goes through. So for those who do not know what uh, molting is, molting means shedding out of their exoskeleton. What they'll do is uh, they'll just basically go on their backs and then push themselves out of their own body. So that's what they're doing right now. Uh, this is all the new skin. As you can see, it's much more bright and vibrant compared to the old skin. Now, I'll get this a lot of, ask this a lot. Whenever your tea molts, don't even touch it or feed it for at least a week. Uh, we give this week for the tarantula to harden. Yeah, you can see. Yeah, she's coming up beautifully. It's too bad I missed the molt cycle, but guys gotta do it, guys gotta do it, gotta work. I also just saw another molt. This is from this guy right here. The Ornifacious Filipinus, formerly known as Salino Brachys, the Filipino orange. Oh my goodness, that, that used to be half an inch right now, it's at least an inch right now. Pretty fast growing and I had it for, what, I think a couple of months, like three months ago, I bought this one. Yeah, sure doing well. <coughs> Excuse me. Alright, so... We'll wait up in a bit and see how well she's progressing, and then I'll show you how to sex the tarantula by molt. Okay, so it's 12 o'clock, and she just freshly molted. Wow, is she looking ever gorgeous. You can note her pink carapace. Nice brown body. She's got to be around five, five and a half inches. Yeah, typically full grown, as you see in G. rosea. Alright, so now, since she's out of the way, I can go ahead and remove her molt. Gotta be extra careful. Just awesome. Yep, hopefully I'll uh, feed her well, and then mate her with Zeus. So, <laughs> it's a good thing I actually decided to wait for her to molt, because if I try to mate her now, then she realizes I've molted. That means I'll destroy any of the fertility that she'll get. She'll lose her sack. So, but that's good that she molted. They didn't really count on it, but it's pretty good. Alright, so let's go show you the molt and show you how to sex it. Okay, so here's her molt. So it's pretty sizable. I'm going to get a ruler to actually measure her. I always measure T's by their leg span, never by their body length. So from hmm, tip of first leg to tip of the last leg. I guess she can be stretched out a little bit more. Inches here. Yeah, it's a good five inches. 
pretty typical. All right, so this is what you're looking for in a molt. Now to sex it, this is the 100% foolproof method to sexing a T. Uh, ventral sexing is somewhat accurate if you know what you're looking for. But let me just open up the abdomen area. You'll see it better. Okay, so I open up the abdomen area. And this is what you're supposed to be looking at whenever you have a molt and you're trying to sex it. As I said, this is a 100% confirmed method to sexing a T. You really can't always rely on ventral sexing because it doesn't always work, especially uh, if you have a very small T. That's probably like under 2 inches, so the molts are always better. Okay, so it's pretty easy and pretty obvious to see what kind of sex this is. This is a female. So I'll show you exactly what to be looking for. So these little appendages here are your book lungs of your T. You have your first pair here, second pair here, and as I like to call it in some videos, this is the top pair and this is the bottom pair. So in the ventral side, uh, you'll notice a big slip between the first pair and the second pair, which is right over here. And when you look at the molt, you really see a flap. So I'm just going to zoom in so you can see where the flap is. It's very obvious on a specimen this large. It's right over here. And if you look closely, you can probably see uh, the pattern of the spermatheci. If my camera can focus, there we go. You got one here, and you got a little dot this way. Yeah, and yeah, that's a flap, and that's the sperm sac. That's where the female stores the male sperm uh, when they mate, and that's where the male injects his sperm into. So if it was a male, then you'll notice that uh, the top, I mean this pair and this pair is going to be much more closer apart, and you're not going to see this flap. So that's a sure way to indicate whether or not you have a female or male. It works for any species, be it G. rosea, B. smithy, A. geniculata, LPs, GVBs, Premarinus OBT, the red form, H. lividum, pokies, avix, you name it, they, all females will have this flap on the molt, and all males don't have it. So, this is a little video of showing the my G. rosea Michaela in her molt cycle. I uh, <laughs> kind of didn't expect her to molt, but it's a good thing. So that way, now I know I can actually mate her with uh, Paul's uh, mature male that I received uh, a while back. And then hopefully uh, she'll give me some babies, and hopefully he'll get some too. So, congrats on her molt. It took around... Uh, two and a half hours before she decided to molt. And that's great. Awesome. Love it. Alright guys, so thanks for watching this video. And stay tuned for some more videos and the Mythbuster video on the Fono Palma Simani. <laughs> I haven't made Mythbuster videos in a long time, so I might be a little rusty. Alright guys, see you later.